What's up YouTube family? It's TJ with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to avoid the gas fees when you're buying stuff from the Gala Games store. So if you're like me, you hate paying gas fees. So let's avoid those. I'm going to show you guys the cheapest way to get your NFTs. Let's get into it. All right, first off, thank you guys so much for the ones that have subscribed to our channel. We're growing like crazy right now, really trying to provide content to you guys that helps the average person get ahead, helps people make a little bit of extra money on the side. And right now it's all about NFTs, it's all about gaming and man it is blowing up so if you're not already make sure you guys subscribe to the channel since we have so many new subscribers make sure y'all leave a comment down below and let us know what kind of videos you want to see from us so i'm going to go ahead and pick up a another exemplar for the new mirandus game that's going to be coming out i've decided that i want to grab one of the true providers so let's avoid these gas fees and i'm going to show you guys what most people are doing right now and it's clicking on something they're hitting place order right you're going to be paying with gala from your account and then you have to have a little bit of eth to cover the gas so let's do some math real quick and some resources for you guys one there is this right here which is etherscan.io slash gas tracker. I'll put that link down in the description. But basically, this gives you real time uh, numbers on the GUI, which is how much it costs to send a transaction. So I'll put that down below and let's run some quick numbers. So if we go to Coin Market Cap, which also has the GUI, but it's not as real time, and let's go to Ethereum. Right now it is, let's just call it $4,500. So when we go to Gala, let's pull up our calculator. If you do $4,500, times the gas fee they're wanting us to send, which is 0.00634. And Guay is pretty low right now. Uh, that's still $28.50. And a lot of times you're paying at least 0.1 Guay, or 0.01 Guay, I mean. Ah, 0.01. 45 bucks. I ain't trying to pay 45 bucks every time I'm buying an NFT. So what I've been doing is this. Not, now you can't do this with every single NFT, but with a lot of them you can, where they have this white box right here that says multiple cryptocurrencies. So you can click that and you can pay with a multitude of different coins, USDC or whatever. But my whole thing is I don't wanna pay with anything that's on the ERC20 network. So I'm paying with Bitcoin. All right, so we're gonna select Bitcoin and then we're gonna hit the checkout button. All right, it's going to bring this screen up right here, and you're going to click on this blue word where it says Coin Payments. Now, you're going to have eight hours, basically, to complete your transaction. So let's go to Coin Payments. And with my transaction, I'm going to be using Coinbase Pro because with Coinbase Pro, the fees are a little bit less than if you're using regular Coinbase because with regular Coinbase, it's just simplistic and easy to use, and they charge a higher fee for that. All right, cool. So we're going to go to Withdraw. We're going to choose Bitcoin. We're sending that to a crypto address. And let's go ahead and grab that address that we're sending it to, which is right here. I'm gonna copy that, go over to Coinbase Pro, paste that in there. You're gonna click use this address. It validates it for you. And then right here, you're gonna type in how much Bitcoin you need to send. So for us, we need to send 0 0.01153. All right, boom, Zero. 0 0.01153. Make sure that number's right. One one five three zero one one five three. All right, cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So this is how much where the other address is gonna be receiving. Then it adds on the fee. So we're sending a total of one one five three four two zero. Right. So let's show you guys the math real quick. So we were talking thirty to forty five dollars on a gas fee for Ethereum. Right. All right, cool. Well, let's go to Coin Market Cap. Bitcoin's at fifty six. 800 we'll say all right so pull our calculator up 56 800 times and then the gas fee is going to be this right here so times 0 0.00000420 and we're paying 23 cents man that's awesome so 23 cents and you have your nft Man, saving so much money. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this transaction. Boom. Withdrawal started. 
All right, cool. So now that transaction has been sent, we're going to go back to Gala Games. We're going to click on View Order Status, and this is where you're going to wait for your payment to come through. So you're basically just waiting on the Bitcoin block to go through. So it could be anywhere from like 10 minutes to a minute, right? Hey, make sure you guys, whenever you're sending money to a, another wallet or an address, make sure you always verify the first four and the last four of wherever you're sending it. That's just going to make sure that you never accidentally send it to the wrong place and that you don't have any typos. Also, if you accidentally click off of this screen right here, you can always click on this little bell icon right here and it'll show you your list of recent transactions and the view uh, order status button will be right there on the end. Boom, this page just auto refreshed and now it says paid. So we are all good. We'll click view order status again. And yep, it says complete. Cool, so now it says paid and we're all done. It'll be dropped into our inventory in just a little bit. If you're ever concerned or it's taking a little while to get that and it says like uh, awaiting fulfillment, you can always go to their Discord and go to queue fulfillment status and you can see how many orders are, are in there ahead of you. And that's just a good little way to keep track of it. If you ever have to, you can submit a ticket, but uh, I've never had any problems, so you should be good to go. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Like the video if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed. Let us know in the comments, what do you guys wanna see? What content do you want from us? And we put a poll out to see if you guys were interested in an NFT drop. And like 25% of you guys said no. So is it just because you don't like NFTs or is it because you'd rather have crypto instead of an NFT? Let me know in the comments. But we just want to thank you guys and give something back to the community since you guys have subscribed and you guys are joining our journey. So catch you guys in the next video.